Good morning and welcome to the train room. I keep trying to find places which are better lit. This might be a little bit better than my office. My caddies. You get a caddy in Thailand. She could be anywhere from 19 to 69 years old. So what does a caddy do for you? Well, as soon as you arrive, she's going to take your bag. Now, do you get to choose your caddy? Um, sort of. You know, if you turn up as a four ball, then four caddies are going to get out of their seats and come across to the back of the vehicle to take the golf bags. So if you spot one that you think you might like, grab your golf bag quick and give it to her. You've made a choice. So they disappear off with your bag. You go to the locker room, change your shoes. You go out the back of the clubhouse to the golf course and she'll be there waiting for you. And if you're driving, then everything will be on the golf cart. She'll have got your umbrella out, your towel. She may have even got some balls out and a few tea pegs. But essentially, she's going to give you the line of play off the tee. And if she's been doing it a long time, she'll be able to tell you how far it is to certain bunkers and trees and hazards and stuff. But if they're relatively new, they might not know. But that's why we all carry a rangefinder these days or a GPS device. They will give you the distance to the flag. Ooh, sorry, I got wind again today. How unusual. So they'll give you the distance to the flag and they may even give you some information about the green, like up, up and down, short is okay, that sort of thing. Now, usually grain does run downhill, so short generally is okay. Now, as they get more experienced, as they put in more hours, more months, more years, then they will notice how far you hit the ball very quickly. So then they'll start clubbing you. And this can save you a lot of hassle, especially when they know their golf course better than you do. And they'll also be able to tell you if you can get over a particular bunker. Now to show you how good they were, or they are, I went to Phuket and I played Phuket Country Club and on the 10th hole, you've got that giant horseshoe around the lake and you have to go over the lake. And both times I played it with two different caddies, they told me exactly where to aim on the opposite bank. They knew how far I hit my driver through the air. And so they could pick the exact spot for me to play over and be dry. If I'd been doing it on my own, I might have bitten off more than I can chew and be reaching for another ball. And then on the green, they'll give you a line and a speed. And of course, they'll use a language that's all their own. So you get up and down, which is the direction of the grain, or even medium, if it's across the grain and it's not going to affect the speed. But they also expect you to be able to see that it's uphill and downhill. So down means down grain, it doesn't mean downhill. But if you've got downhill, down grain, it's going to be pretty fast. And it's up to you to do that, to work that bit out yourself. Equally, when you are uphill and into the grain, or the grain is slightly across, you know that if you slightly under hit it, it will turn more. And if you over hit it, it will turn less. So if she says one cup left, up, then it's up to you to put your little twist on it because you know how hard you're going to hit a putt, she doesn't. So if you think I'm going to give this one a bit of a beef, then you need to borrow less. And if you're going to dribble it into the front edge, then you need to borrow more because it's going to turn more. She'll also keep you cool throughout the day as best she can with the umbrella and parking you in the shade. And she will also nag you to drink some if you're not drinking enough. Well, some of them do. Not all. But essentially, they are going to try and make your day 
as good as possible. So you really ought to return the favour and make their day as good as possible. I hope you notice in my videos that when a putt goes in or a long lag stops by the hole, the first thing I do is turn to my caddy and thank her. And if I miss something, the first thing I do is take responsibility for that. I know that I've hit it offline. I know that I've shoved it or pulled it. And it's not the caddy's fault. And even if she is absolutely miles out on a putt, if she says it's three feet right and I hit it perfectly on the line she's given me and the putt just happens to go dead straight, well, that's still my fault. Because I'm the one who chose to do what she said, rather than me being able to read the green and the grain myself. So no matter what happens, whether you hit the wrong club, whether you go in the water because you couldn't quite make it over, or whether you miss a putt, you have to remember that it is your fault and not theirs. And if something goes right, then acknowledge the fact that it's gone right, and it's gone right because of their help. So in tribute to my caddies on this trip, there's a few putts coming up. And I hope you notice that when something goes in, the first person I turn to to thank is my caddy. And yes, they earn every penny of their tip. See you in a moment. Nice.